In my last video, I talked about spelling reforms, specifically the 1996-2006 German spelling reform and my own proposed reform for English orthography. But here's a fun fact. French had a spelling reform too. After about 26 years of back and forth between opinion havers, but French this time, and different stages of introducing it in various institutions and instances, it was announced in 2016 in France that this spelling reform would apply in education from the following year. Which, let's be honest, is the only real way to properly introduce a spelling reform. This caused nothing short of outrage. One of the words that was changed was oignon, which means onion. The old spelling of oignon is this. This is an objectively awful way to spell this word. The gn digraph is a palatal nasal, a ny sound like in the Spanish ñ. This on, that's a nasal open mid-back rounded vowel, an un sound. But this oi at the beginning of the word? Why? In other words, like oiseau, oisif, or je sois, this combination of letters makes a wa sound. So this, to me, says wanyung, but it's not pronounced like that. So the 1990 spelling reform, the one that took 26 years to get into schools, proposed very sensibly to get rid of that extra i in the spelling. So now it's spelled like this. Well, well you look at that, now it actually looks like how it's pronounced. But people were not happy. There were highly respected journalists complaining that this was not a rectification, but a simplification. As if that's some bad thing. People spread Facebook posts about how the French language would be spelt like this if they were allowed to get away with it. Linguists were panicking, coming up with some half-baked excuses about the I being necessary to soften the G-N, so it wasn't gne, conveniently forgetting about words like besogne and montagne. People took to Twitter with the hashtag je suis circonflex, referencing another change made by the spelling reform to get rid of, and I can't stress this enough, the completely meaningless diacritic, the circumflex, or circonflex in French, from words without minimal pairs distinguished by it. Far-right politician Florian Philippot even tweeted that they were faced with an infamous and stupid reform, and they had to defend the French language because le français est notre âme. The French language is our soul. Very much like this Facebook post, which dramatically exclaims that when a people no longer dares to defend its language, it's ripe for slavery? Because no I in oignon. Also, that's not how you spell honey. Oignon doesn't even look like a vegetable. It looks like, oh, no, exclaimed another warrior for the great French culture, who would order a soup d'oignon with no I. Even though the old spellings are still seen as completely valid. It's easy to point and laugh at these French people complaining about an eye disappearing from oignon, but it's important to remember that there's always going to be opposition to change, no matter how logical or small, or how well it complies with the four rules that I personally laid out in my last video for spelling reforms. There were people getting very mad about the German spelling reform as well, and there would definitely be thousands of people getting ready to defend the heritage of the most wonderful English culture if we added an extra P to the word developing. But the broader problem here isn't with that I disappearing in oignon, or some S sets being replaced with double S's. Of course, that gut reaction to something you've known your whole life suddenly changing can be a strong one, but there's a wider argument here against prescriptivism. Prescriptivism is when opinion havers decide how a language should be spoken and written, rather than simply describing how it is spoken and written. And some people think that a big organisation, like the Académie Française or the government, telling people how to spell their words is fundamentally wrong. But guess what? You hate prescriptivism? Saying that we can't prescribe new spellings is a prescription. It's not like everyone's made the collective free decision to spell oignon in this ridiculous irregular way. It's been taught. School children who have forgotten that I, or forgotten random silent hats on vowels, have been told tu as tort. Making the decision to not prescribe new spellings, when it comes to a large language used for education like French or German or English, is the same thing as prescribing the old spellings. So please, stop being a bunch of elitist prescriptivists, and let all the children in France, me, and everyone else trying to learn your ridiculous orthography spell oignon without an I.